Sodor was once more at peace. The engines were running their trains as usual, but one night, everything changed once again. A lovely evening with the post. What could go wrong, and... But it did go wrong. As Percy rounded the bend, he saw what appeared to be a deceased engine on the tracks. Oh, goodness! Call for the authorities. Who knows what could have happened? Inspector Joey and his team arrived. Minutes later, the tracks were blocked off all night while the remains of the engine were taken to be examined at Crovin's Gate. Percy was taken to the sheds by Mickey, who also was on scene after Percy testified. He tried to sleep, but could not shake the thought of who or what the engine may have been. Meanwhile, that night, the investigation took all night, but no possible leads or suspects were found. You're certain? Yes. I was speaking to Damien. He told me his version of events, which transpired and are in connection to what we have theorized. So far, my guess the culprit could be a visiting diesel. Or steam engine? Let's roll Dudley out. Remember, he's long since been deceased. Well, after Diesel told Edward the truth some time ago, yes. But that aside, we're going to question all the engines in the morning. This is an all-too-familiar situation to the department. You mean the fire of 62? Yes, man. Now I do wish Markiplier were here with us right now. Wrong, Mark, Joey. He's still alive and well. Oh, nuts. Good point, Mickey. Damn, I think I'll need to have a cold shower once this is over. While Joey's debating his shower temperature, the following morning, Mickey was questioning all the engines he could. But Damien was having a fit of rage. He filmed in the wrong area of Trains 2004. His favorite yet preferred simulator of all time. Suddenly, he... Oi! Don't you even say it or you're fired! Fine. In the words of someone I know very well, don't let your kids watch it. Anyway, Joey was really trying to place the pieces together in spite of the fact that a once living, breathing engine, dead, motionless, was sitting perfectly well on the tracks. As if on cue, Lenny with many officers aside, a work scene van arrived. We need you to return to headquarters. Sounds as if there's a possible lead on the case. Understood, Lenny. Joey returned to headquarters, where Lenny told the inspector of the situation. Eyewitnesses say a wayward engine poisoned our deceased victim. Did the crime lab determine? Blackwater. That's meant for other situations. And how and why did our culprit do this? Eliza is currently talking to a few of the engines. It could be a possible cartel situation. It better not be. But I do know who we should talk to. You mean... Exactly. Joey and Lenny confronted Diesel. He was in a nearby siding taking on fuel. Diesel, we need to talk. If it's more quarantine issues like that time back in... No, Diesel. It's not. But we could bring up the, ahem, other incidents and incarcerate you for life. What is it you both need? Can't you see we Diesels? Before you finish that sentence, Diesel, there's something that we need to inquire on. You mean of that engine that was murdered last night? Blackwater was what killed him. Question is, how did our suspect obtain it? That's the thing. The only possible engine that could obtain it exclusively is... Who would it be, Diesel? That's it. What is it, Joey? Jeff. He has no priors. True. But we must cover all our basics if we place Jeff at the time of the murder. That means he is responsible for the murder in the first place. That afternoon, Joey and Lenny paid a visit to the Steamworks. Hello, officers. How may we help you today? We're just doing standard protocol, Victor. Jeff of the Island of Sodor, you're under arrest for the murder in the second degree. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be and will be used in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney and so on and so forth because I realize it will take me all day to say the obvious. You can't do this. Jeff did nothing wrong. Don't make me arrest you for interfering with that serious investigation. The Steelers were stunned. Joey and Lenny arrested Jeff and took him to Railgate. There he was questioned and interrogated by the police engines. 
elsewhere near the railway, an identical twin to Jet was smirking with triumph. Soon my twin will be nothing more than spare parts. Now, where the real fun begins. As Neff was scheming, Joey and Mickey were trying to piece together all the clues they asked any engine, passenger, and rolling stop they could. But they did their best, and Joey and Mickey understood. But they felt something was off. Or did they? I say, Mickey, we should have tracked Jeff's file prior to his arrest. You're right, Joey, but... But what? Oh, good God, we made a mistake. We had to get back to Railgate at once. Both engines raced back to Railgate. When they arrived, they saw how sorry Jeff was. Then he looked at both police engines. We're sorry, Jeff. You're free to go. I don't understand. You're innocent. And you have been. Your file, or... If there's a file that exists, tells us that your twin framed you. He's gotten priors for property damage, grand larceny, and theft. And he added murder to his crimes. The diesel he murdered was a Class 55 named Vox. Clean through and through. No priors whatsoever. Jeff told Joey and Mickey about Neff and his prior acts. He even tried to do the unthinkable to a steam engine. Unfortunately, authorities were called the... He even tried to do the unthinkable to a steam engine. Fortunately, authorities were called. The engine had to undergo extensive therapy. She was lucky to have survived the unthinkable. My twin is better off to be destroyed, no matter the cost, than survive. Joey and Mickey had to agree, and thus Jeff was freed from Railgate. The charges dropped. Then... Huge trouble at the steamworks. What's going on, Eliza? Neoff has arrived and is at the steamworks holding Victor. As a hostage, Kevin was able to get out in time. Then we got no time to lose. Leave it to us. I just know the person that can stop him. Who would that be? A uh, CI of sorts, if you will. Diesel 10 rumbled into the yards. He was furious. So Neff decided the show is exhaust and do this shit. Oh, oh, oh my god. Welp, guess we have no choice. You know of Jeff's twin? He caused a lot of havoc on the other railway, behind our buffers, causing wrongful accusations and blame to the innocent. It's time Neff learned some common sense. Too right. After details were exchanged, the engine set up towards the steamworks. There's no sign anywhere and... Miss me, brother? Let Victor go. He did nothing to you. He's merely a hostage, and I will scrap him should you fail to comply. There's two options for you, Neff. You come out unarmed, and we end this peacefully, or we will open fire. There was silence, but then shots were fired. Ten one, ten one. Shots fired at the police. The suspect is in the way. I repeat, suspect is in the way. He is a dangerous criminal. Keep advised. He's heading to Fitterstown. Fifteen twenty. Driver Joe. I'm en route. Will press back up now. The chase went on across the island and through the valleys, past stations and tunnels, bridges and viaducts. Finally, they arrived at Fitterstown. Neff was halfway across the drawbridge. Neff, this ends right here and right now. You're under arrest for your crimes. Bullshit, officer. There's nothing more you can do to me. Once I turn, you will pay with your sins. Don't think we are bluffing. Either come in peace or we shoot. Last chance, asshole. The standoff was immense. The immense of pressure that was to be and for now and always and then at that moment held nothing back. Case closed. Eliza and Lenny took the badly damaged Neff to the other railway. There he was left in a siding far away from the other engines. The remains of the unidentified Class 55 were taken away by an engine from a parallel universe. Don't mention it. I'm just here for shits and giggles. And yes, I'm glad my sister got avenged. Sir so Man was very pleased that the mess was finally solved. 
I am proud this predicament was solved thanks to uh, an alliance like no other. Diesel 10, Joey, and company were able to defeat the brother of a hard-working engine, Jeff, who has been cleared of any wrongdoing in this severe misunderstanding. I thought the background checks were fully initiated, but nevertheless, I am pleased that this ordeal is finally over. And Sir Tom that left. Jeff returned to the Steamworks the following day and was given high praise. Victor was undamaged in the aftermath, and Joey and Mickey were given a few days off following the successful detective work. Diesel 10, who played a huge role, was allowed to pull passenger trains whenever it needed to be, despite his claw attachment being present. The island was restored once more, and things were right on schedule once more. However, a BR Class 01 shuttle was passing through to get to Soto, escaping the railway from his so-called master. But that was a story for another day.